Hello everyone and welcome to another video. I finally did it. I have finished all the data and the graphs for my first edition expected value video. So today we're going over Monarch. Sit back, relax, go get yourself something nice to drink. I think this could take longer than usual because it's the very first time. I've had to, you know, get the precise pull rates. Uh, I think they are not perfectly precise because we don't know about the exact pull rates especially for the extended art and alternate art versions but yes this is the first edition we are talking about today it's the first time ever and so expected value means if i open one box how much are the cards worth inside on average i do take the card market low data or prices and uh, yeah i have so many things in my head i did uh, prepare a lot I do not have a script and I tend to forget most of the things. So, I don't know. I, today I ordered Dusk Dawn. Yes, they were. They are more expensive than before. Um, I did order them from a local game store, so not from wholesale. That's why I pay a little bit more. But, um, yeah, I will have enough to open for the summer. But um, now I'm running out of you know, of product, of, of cases and of boxes to open. Um, yeah, I want to open at least one case a week. So that's 52 cases a, a year and 108 booster boxes per year. I do, um, I could open Monarch first. The thing is, it costs 141 shipped to my door. And to me, it should be worth at least 120. The cards inside so if i lose around about 21 card market low because i do sell for more than low it could be worth it i mean i do this full time i live from these sales and yeah 120 would be you know could be okay-ish because i like the gamble i like trying to go for these expensive cold folds i mean after all this is first edition there are cold folds inside I, I don't know in which order I want to show this. So first up, this is Celestial Cataclysm Monarch First. Um, be aware of the price. I've talked about this in last video and today when I got up, I've gotten more messages from these fake buyers and sellers or maybe just one person having three different accounts at least getting all these cards into his basket and then offering his own cards as the new card market load. So, and uh, with Monarch, especially some of these cards like Celestial Cataclysm, be careful with the uh, price. I do. I mean, this card has been selling for ten bucks just three months ago, and the highest sale was sixty-four. Um, yeah, the lowest price being seventy-five could have something to do with cards still being in baskets and not being paid. Because, you know, there was a guy who also sold, he bought, bought in three accounts from me. And then, you know, having different reasons why he cannot pay and, all, and so on and so forth. Anyways, all I wanted to say is, if people, you know, relist their cards, this could drop down to, you know, 30, 40 again. Could, should not, I don't know, 50 should be the new ceiling. Whatever. Um, yes, another thing before we start, I mean, sometimes I tend to talk a little bit too much about every other thing. This is the Great Library of Solana, the fabled inside the first edition. Uh, the lowest price is 650 and it, it did sell for 400 just at the end of last year. So it went back up. It has been at 800 before. So what I've had in my head, I, I never... I not often do I talk about first editions because first editions to me were too expensive from the viewpoint of, you know, I do sell cards to players, but I do shift more towards, you know, collecting. And so I look more into the cold foil cards. Um, the prices, well, I did have other prices in my head. This is what I found. You know, I'm, I'm not going to show you. This is the unlimited. So I did. I did take uh, at in June 
2021, I did take, you know, I made a list with cards and then this is eBay because there was no card market back then. So I've written down how much, for how much can I get it? It is available for 501. It did sell for 551 and so on and so forth. So I did this, you know, in July, available for 225, um, 10 days later here. And this is the end of July, 346. So this was on the decline, right? I, did, I have another price point here, Red Library 501. So I, st I basically started the list. I did sell before, I did buy and sell before. Before Mana came out, I, I started with Arcane Rising, but I've had these prices in my head, you know? This is unlimited, the Rainbow Fall version. I was like, 500 for a Fabled, well, they are worth a lot. And then it declined and I don't have, I have more lists, but this is the Rainbow Fall version today. We're not talking about Unlimited today. That's the only thing I want to talk about. It's at 250 now and has been at 100 something all last year long. So I don't know. There is a, there is a, there is this price memory thing. Like I've always seen this card for 500 and then it dropped to 100 and now it's going back up to, I don't know, 250. And people who started here and now see, oh, this card has doubled in price. Well, there were people paying even twice this amount just two years ago. Just keep that in mind. It's, it's, a, it's a weird, it's a, a, a big volatility. And these price differences between high and low, well, I've, maybe the call file could go back up to a thousand. I don't know. We're just... I'm just here to write down the prices and the price for one booster box now is 141. The pr I did have this old video here. This is the uh, first edition prices. I did start noting those on February last year. So 176 was the price. It dipped down and you know, end of last year was the worst time ever. This was, as you have seen, basically the price for one unlimited fabled. That was the price for an un for a first edition Monarch box. So uh, price slowly going back up. Well, slowly. Well, it's 141 now. That's what I said. So what we can see here is the uh, number of boxes. 179 was the lowest, and that was on. When did I do this video? Two weeks ago, May sixth. 179 boxes. And now we're finally talking about these uh, numbers, 179 still. So pretty strange, price went up, uh, amount was the same, but that's amongst, thank you all for everybody writing me on Discord, writing me on Card Market, writing me on uh, Patreon, um, and all these YouTube comments. I, it's, uh, it's a pleasure doing all this work and, you know, putting in these hours and seeing people who really enjoy seeing what turns out so from today on we start looking at the first edition prices i will do this next week for tales of aria from scratch everything new uh, i did take these numbers last month so um this is the original list this is the original list i do and i did take these numbers on 19th April 19th, so I showed you this last month. I didn't know about the pull rates and calculated some things around. Now that we've done this, I think I think I have this for Tales of Aria. I think I did this last month, but I didn't put it into a graph. Um, so anyways, I'm gonna do this for Tales of Aria as well. And then if when we are through with the rotation and we go back to Welcome to Wrath and Arcane Rising, I might do first edition for those as well. But the thing is, this is really un not interesting because the prices are so high. There is not much being sold and some cards are not available at all. Anyways, the price for the Fable went from 550 last month to 650 this month. So the Great Library of Solana, you know, Dusk Till Dawn should not have too many... Um, synergy effects with this card. It's still about people thinking this could be used for, you know, for future P 
PvE content. But it's the call foil, it's for collectors. I'm gonna have to rethink a little bit because all this basically is call foil. Also, these legendaries. Um, the most expensive is Phantasma Footsteps 350 for one legendary, and 285 was the price last month. Karen Husk also went up by a lot. 265 is the price now, and 230 was the price last month. This is just a month, and all these 10% or more gains. I mean, I do highlight this now in these lists. Where's the legendaries at? Yes, Phantasma and Carry On, those two. This one up as well. Um, yeah, as you can see, the average, because of the two most expensive ones, went up from 160 to 178. And this, again, shows again and again, over again and again and again. It shows that all these expensive cars get m even more expensive. The Fable and the top two legendaries went up and the rest, well, it's pretty much going sideways. And does this only have to do with how how strong are the cards in game? I I doubt it. I do not think so. I don't think so. I Especially with... I think we could ignore this price point of 80. I think this should go back down next month. And especially yesterday was at 80. Did I just check it? 75. Well... This is already a new price. There is so much going on with this. Um, of course, well, here we go. Let's just look at the prices as they are. Um, the rest is also going up, not as steep. This is, this is you know, almost four times as much compared to last month. It's totally stupid. And this had to do with the price manipulation. There were also some other cards this guy has bought from several different... No, he didn't buy them. He just reserved them and didn't pay. But anyways... Harold ever uh, Holy moly. I need something to eat, I guess. I didn't I didn't do that. Harold of Erudition is the second most expensive Rainbow Fall Majestic first edition. 25 bucks or euros, I should say. 24 is what you pay for Rouse the Ancients in Fall Rainbow Fall. And as you can see all the rest Sonata is up there with 23. Soul Shield for 21. Those could switch places. I just kept it to the most important, uh, most expensive three. So this doesn't, you know, it's not a mess. You can look at this graph and see everything at once uh, or at the same time. So yeah, Harold, I sold out a lot of those. I even did sell my um, trade, my extended art copy. Uh, yeah. What else can we say? Prices are going up. The average went up from... Uh, where's the average at? 860 to 1243. Well, it's just because of Celestial Cataclysm. Well, let's, let's look at this next month. These are the um, regular, so the majestic non-foils. The most expensive being Herald of Erudition by far, 18 euros. This went up a lot, and I do think this is... Um, this is an exact or a precise price and not manipulated. Nourishing Emptiness is at 10, Soul Shield is at 950, all these cards went up in price. Exude Confidence is at 690, went up just a bit. The average Majestic Nonfall went up from 230 to 280. The average, of course, there's a lot more Majestics which I did not include in this graph. Right here we can go to the Monarch First Edition Majestic Rainbow for its short printed Majestics. So these are all these prices. Again, the expensive ones went up even more. And the cheap ones, well, they basically stayed the same. Okay, so that's the Rainbow Foil. I didn't show you this. So 10% and 2 euros. Everything is highlighted in green, which went up for ten, at least 10% and 2 euros. So it's basically all green with first edition Monarch. Um, I think it's not a bubble. I think it's not over priced because prices have been a lot higher during the hype. So this is the extended art alternate art slide, which I really had trouble doing this. And now it is precise and it works. 
the average of these four has been gone up from 126 to 133. The average of average addition uh, extended out went up five bucks. Lumina Ascension is right here. It went from 100 to 139. And the Galaxy Black went from 170 to 135. This could be, I mean, this is not a market watch video, but basically, oh, not great library. Oh, come on, man. Um, oh my gosh, what is happening? I need some food. Sorry, I'm going to finish this video. Galaxy Black. Galaxy, Galaxy Black in cold foil. This is the alternate art. Yeah, 135. Um, this seller is only average. And then we have an excellent version and we have two from outside the EU. So the next price is at 180. I did list this because it is near mint. You can get it. Um, so maybe somebody is brave enough and buy from this guy. So the price will go back up to 180. So this should be higher than last month. But right now it is lower. It is. I thought about getting this, to be honest. I mean, it's worth a trot, right? This card is worth more than 135. Somebody is selling it for this price. It is not a do with this information what you want. Mark of the Beast also went up from 50 to 70. And yeah, that's what it looks like. Everything is going up, up, up. Um, also here, Cold Foils, Luminaris from 80 to 100. Raiden Dustbane went from 68 to 74 and then we have one that dropped in price that's the either, either iron weave from 53 to 49 and the average went up from 30 to 32 right everything going up so this is what it looks like in in expected value numbers so that is the majestic short printed there are some short printed cards in here in the first edition some cards or is it just one card no hold on short luminaris raiden and hexagore those three are short printed so uh, i do have this times um divided by 31 times 1.5 times 5.5 oh my gosh what have i done here so there is this price the average price divided by 31 because there's 31 majestics in here times 1.5 because i have three majestics which are short printed 50 percent so i only get 1.5 and then times 5.5 where did i get this number from um if this is not correct please tell me i i did this i did this last month and i really tried hard to not mess this up and this should be a pretty precise number 5.5 what oh there should be 5.5 per box is that right that can't be right i do have this if this is wrong please tell me i think it was correct so 53 cents is what you get out of worth out of these three cards on average per box and then the rainbow foil at the rainbow foils at 420 in value everybody's buying these heralds right because of the spoilers from dusk to dawn and shiana is also selling and everything is focusing around these you know shadow and light cards and people are buying rune blade now and people are buying all these light cards and yeah it's great seeing all this going on i'm gonna open some more monarch i guess i also do think the monarch price first edition no monarch is not going to 1k but um everything below 200 should be a steal to be honest that's my opinion i don't know what you think but yeah there's people having bought this first edition booster box for 250 300 350 and they might be happy to see this break 200 again anyways alternate art extended art i did buy some first edition but not during the pandemic hype so i was lucky there yeah let's look at the next ones majestics at 746 the cold foils at 805 the majestic rainbow foils at 1391 per box and then the most expensive 
Once are the fabled. It is a call for. Oh, I forgot the prices. Hold on, I'm gonna do this real quick. That's the easiest part right here. I'm going to style, I'm going to show the data labels, and that's it. Right. So the average price per box 1625 for the fabled and 4445 for the legendaries. They add a big chunk of value. So the worth, the expected value for one box is over a hundred. So last month it has been at 88.50 and now it's at 101.50. That's the card market low prices on average inside this box. It has been fun doing this because it's an old set, but uh, it was a new uh, work for me. Um, it's always fun doing this and seeing how much is in there. Um, yeah, I mean, these are the cold foils, right? These are special. We know the print run. Um, it's not as bad as expected. I, I personally never said anything is sh printed to in too high numbers. I don't care if it's 100, 200 or 300,000. It will be millions in the near future per edition, per new set. So there's not enough Monarch first boxes for everybody. People are going to draft this in the summer because the official tournaments are also... You cannot draft us to dawn. You will have to draft Monarch. The Monarch was not being able to be drafted on too many tournaments because everything was close. So, um, I did have more things on my head, but this was just an expected value video. And now we know the expected value. Um, the box costs 40 bucks more than the expected value. So, it's not worth opening this. It is clever to buy this and leave it in your closet because this should go to 200 this year and it's only six more months and there is still a lot available and not much happening with the availability but um yeah we will reach this we will reach this i'm going to get first edition boxes i think everything to 150 should be fine and as you know i will put up a hundred let's keep it at a hundred i will put up 100 magic boxes for sale on card markets it's not a it's not a fire sale, so I'm not going to offer the lowest price. But with the money that comes in, I'm going to shift over to Flesh and Blood even more. I do have a ton of sealed products from Flesh and Blood, and I want even more. I'm going to keep my Pokemon. I know it's not interesting anybody on this channel, basically. I'm also not doing any magic on Pokemon videos anymore. But I do have sealed products and single cards. Um, long time investment on sale on card markets and in my personal collection but I'm shifting almost all the sealed magic products towards sealed flesh and blood I might get one or two single cards from this expensive ones for my own collection I am not doing any buyouts I'm not going to manipulate the market I'm just slowly going to get some more cases I'll just get some more cases because I want product. I do have product here for openings and I'm going to start this week because on Sunday there will be the last Outsiders box opening which I have recorded on the opening on the release weekend and from now on I do have some friends and patrons who want uh, boxes to be opened so I will open a lot in the next time so we will have enough before dust till dawn comes out i offered a pretty low price for crucible of war i love this set and with uh, the expensive cards in there being very you know they're pretty much asked and um well not talking about too many other topics i'm trying to release another video about an or two maybe this week about two other topics that I have and um, for now I'm not I think I am not doing a standard market watch video because I could just in here go to the best seller and could tell my story yes I do have more I only have these the damaged cards I do have left and the rest I basically sold out and then I could talk about this being 45 that's not a correct number that should be lower 
price going up from 10 to 20 and so on and so forth. I could talk about all of these cards and I can tell you to get all of these because the price could go up for all of those. And there's different tomes. Why is this on German again? Stupid. Oh, it's the black label. My bad. It's just the, it's just the wording on here. Um, yeah, well, anyways, won't happen. I, I do not feel too comfortable with these market watch videos because it is too much hype. I don't want to cause this. I don't want to get people into buying several specific cards and then finding out that they are not worth as much as they paid, just like with Celestia Cataclysm. So if I see a price going up too far, well, in this case, I know why it is. Oh, let's look at TCG player. Celestial Cataclysm First Edition Rainbow Foil. So this is this right here. And then go to the foil. Oh my. Where is it at? Here, foil, first edition normal, unlimited edition normal, first edition rainbow foil. There you go. 50, what? I thought it was lower. Uh, sales prices for first edition rainbow foil, 30, 30, 30, 32, 33 is what it was sold for. Maybe somebody's doing that over there as well. 33 last sold, so on card market last sold uh, 44 yeah I can see this card at 50 alright thanks for watching I want to talk to you in the next one have a good time bye bye